Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are going to be talking about arc dino leveling and the statistics that go with them. So specifically what we're talking about here is we're going to talk about how your dinos get their stats that they have based on their level, how the randomization works both tamed and wild and all of the information that goes in with that. Uh, we're going to be using a trike very specifically and for the sake of time we are going to go ahead and claim a level 20 trike is what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and jump to uh, a table really quick to explain where we're going to start and where we're going to progress. Um, but as I said, what we're going to do is the first thing is, is we're going to understand how wild level how wild dinos get their stats and once those wild levels and we understand their stats we'll explain how tame dinos get their stats so after you've tamed them and the amount of levels that get to them and thus why levels are so important uh, and higher level dinos are so important so let's go ahead and jump to the table and go ahead and explain that table really quick so here we are on Arc Wikipedia or Arcpedia or whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically, um, this is a table that they have that exists. I'm going to go ahead and link to it down below in the description. Uh, but basically, this will help you um, understand the levels. So I want to be clear here really quick. This is base stat levels. If you change anything, whatever you change it by uh, multiplicative, multiplicative by multiplication, uh, <laughs> I can't get the word out today, uh, is what's going to go ahead and decide these. So for example, if you've got your weight at times 10, the weight value you're going to see here, um, it depends on where it is, but it's going to be times 10. So if you've got weight, a uh, wild dino level weight times 10, per level, that means every level you'll gain 10 times more weight than you would normally. So let's go ahead, um, explain the table, and then we'll jump down to trikes. So over here we have the creature name. Um, this is all the different items that you can gain levels into. Um, but basically what you've got here is level 1 tells you what the base stat is. This is the base wild level le uh, HP health or whatever it is. The plus W tells you every wild level that it randomizes into it. Uh, and then the plus T is the uh, tamed level. So this is the uh, value that it's going to go ahead and get it once it's tamed. So let's go ahead and roll down to a trike specifically. So we can go ahead and, as we said, we we're going to do a trike. Um, and we're going to go ahead and look at this right here. So here's our trike on this line right here. Uh, and basically we can see that each base level for HP, it's 375. It's got level 1, it's going to get 375. Uh, and then every level after that, uh, technically it's supposed to get, uh, if you get lucky, it gets 75 more health. So therefore every time that it's got a wild level and it randomizes health as that level it gets 75 health and when you tamed something on top of it it has an opportunity to get another 5.4 uh, health on top of it so let's go ahead and talk to you about what that looks like uh, specifically so what we're going to do is we're going to make up a dino that we're going to tame it's going to be a level 20 trike but let's get the stats of that base level trike first so to do that we're going to jump into photoshop as you can see here um, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn on my webcam right next to us, and I've got a dice in front of me. So we're going to remove one of the equations. There's technically seven, uh, even eight options technically that you could have a dino go into. This is a standard six-sided dice. Nothing crazy. I'm going to mess it up because the camera's facing in a weird way uh, for me to understand it. But basically what's going to happen is we are going to roll this dice 20 times, and each time that we roll it, it's for a level. And then that level... Uh, point that you get goes into that dino level. So that's going to go ahead and we'll just show you the first one. So level one um, is technically a throwaway level, but we'll go ahead and say level uh, the first roll is going to be five. So that means we get a point into weight specifically. So we have actually got our nice little um, pad over here that we're going to use and click onto this and then we're going to get a point into weight. So um, we're into weight now officially. Uh, which will be very helpful for us on that. Um, and then that's one. So then our second roll, as I roll it off the board, is a five. So we have another weight, actually. And we're going to do this 20 times on here. Um, so let's just go ahead and speed that up as you guys get to see this. Alright, so we have completed our rolls. As you can see here, we did 20 rolls. Uh, we got a little lucky with health, oxygen, food, and weight. Our melee and stamina on this trike are going to be horrifically bad. Uh, but as the levels go higher, obviously uh, the odds of getting everything pretty even are pretty high. Uh, so basically, 
the way I can describe this now is if you're looking for something that's really high in melee damage or really high in health, you're actually looking for uh, anomalies. You're actually not looking for what the average is. If you think about it, most dinos that you tame at higher levels are just average stats. You find average stuff, average, 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 and then every once in a while you get one that's slightly spiked, and it's really these statistical anomalies that we're looking for. Uh, statistical anomaly meaning something that doesn't truly follow the way it's supposed to roll. So when we get those level 150s that have excessive of amounts of melee points is when this happens. So this uh, trike specifically is going to have a lot more health, a lot more oxygen, a lot more food, and a lot more weight than it normally was. And this is at wild level. Now this gets to be done again when you tame it. And if it's a perfect tame, you get 50% of the levels of the wild tame. So that means that this trike becomes a level 10 trike. So I'm using the new little pad here. Or it gets 10 more levels, technically, is what it gets. So that means this will end up being, if you do a perfect tame, a level 30. So for the purpose, though, we are actually going to change our colors. And we're going to go to blue uh, on our color pad here really quick. So we're going to go to blue. The reason is, is because now I'm going to roll the dice 10 more times um, because that's going to give our points into teamed points. So as I said, it rolls twice. The first one is to understand the levels that your trike's going to have as a wild, and then the levels that it's going to have after you've tamed it, if you do a perfect tame, which will be half the levels of what it gains, and it always rounds down, as we all know. We all wish it rounds up, but it doesn't because we only get 72 levels on a perfect tame when it's a 150. We technically lose that third, uh, the 0.5 of the level. So let's go ahead and roll this out one more time, get 10 more rolls out here, and go ahead and get this going one more time. Alright, so we reeled 10 more times. You can see those signified by the blue, um, terribly drawn uh, tally marks on my computer. Uh, but basically, so those blue ones are your bonus team levels that you're going to get. Now those go by the different plus stat, as we said on the T on the table. The W's are going to be the black tack marks that we did, and then the base stats are just that. They are simply just the base stats. So understanding this and understanding how the points are given, it's randomization, uh, but each level is going to give you more points. You can understand that in this case, specifically, we are going to be looking at and wanting, I'm jumping up here, uh, we are going to be definitely wanting, let's go up to uh, 15 pixels just for purposes of highlighting this. Um, this is going to be a huge health trike. Uh, it's got nine points into it, which is actually an extreme anomaly. Technically, uh, we have six dice here. Uh, that should be that there should be five points per if it runs out perfectly because it's a six-sided dice. There's a one in six chance, which means each time you should technically roll it and it should all roll on evenly in a perfect world. And the more times that you roll it, obviously, the more times it ends up that way. Uh, but you can see that this health is well above average, both tamed and wild. So this is definitely going to be your health strike. If it was a higher level, obviously it would be fantastic. In the case that it's a level 20, it's not going to be worth breeding. But this could be your health strike to breed in if it was a 150 and it pulled this kind of percentage um, chance into it. So this is definitely where your levels come from. And this is why it's so important to get higher level dinos. Because if you do this as a 150 dino, you're going to have the opportunity to get this health stat even higher than the nine points we have here. That means if you take your standard 150 perfect tame and you add your 72 levels, which I'm pretty sure I said wrong, or 74 levels, which I'm pretty sure I said wrong the first time I said 72, uh, and then you go ahead and I'm going to block this really quick, you get your standard 224 dino. Now, understanding that that's a 224 dino means if you were to technically divide this by 6, you get a different number that's much higher as a percentage chance, which is technically about 37. Uh, we're going to round down for the case of this video. That means on average you're going to get 37 points in each one of these per stat. So that's when we're talking about... In this case, if you look at it, this is a 9. It should have been a 5, so it's almost double. If you almost double this and get lucky like that, that's a huge health stat dino. That's one of those ones that's going to be huge at 150. So that's what we're talking about. Higher levels are important because just even just getting the average is 37 points into health. As where this one, we only got 
nine points into health. So that's why, one, dino levels do matter. Um, you can tame higher level dinos. Obviously, the lower the level of the dino, the less chance you have at a higher stat because you're reducing the amount of rolls you get uh, on both tamed and untamed side. Uh, and secondly, looking at what the dino is initially is almost as important as what it is afterwards. For example, if you've got a dino that has supposed to have 37 point, or 150, and it's only got like four points in the stamina, you can almost expect it not to be higher because you're not going to get that many rolls in the team to push it up into the 50s or even the high 40s. You're talking about almost every single one of your rolls going into stamina specifically, and the odds of that are extremely slim. So if you're looking for a specific dino to round out your breeding thing, you need to make sure you check the pre-tamed also, because if your pre-tamed is really low, I would highly recommend not stepping into that dino and not taming it, because it's going to be a waste of your time. Um, but if you get a higher level in the wild, it's going to be more helpful. And then obviously as the tame level randomized you have another shot at it but that's understanding levels uh, I, I'm sure this is quite uh, math uh, heavy or possibly confusing to some people I wanted to try to explain how levels are given why we pick the dinos that we pick to breed why taming specific dinos and checking the stats before you tame them is just as important as checking them after you've tamed them to understand where you are with the dinos so that's dino levels that's explaining how they gain them per level why high level dinos are so important why checking the stats are so important and understanding where those stats come from when you're and that's going to also lead into your breeding and everything i recently did a breeding video i'll link to that in the corner so if you want to understand breeding even further now that we understand the point values where things come from and where these stats specifically come from um, that'll get you there but i hope this video has helped you guys out i hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did like it uh, if you have any ideas or if you're confused by something go ahead and leave a comment down below we will do our best to respond to it with the most educated way possible uh, but as always i hope you all have a fantastic day and we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.